Oh, look at this. Did you hear about this? And isn't it funny? Crazy. Crazy. A three or four is telling a story, and they believe it. And all the simps are believing Line it. Line and sinker without any talk from me at all. Nothing. Isn't that, they didn't hear your side. They believe her automatic. But they like to hate. They, hate, they, they want to hate me. I get it. But without the facts, what are you doing? Yeah. Just speculating. Speaking of facts, we got a special guest in the house, matter of yes, fact. Yes, we, we do. We brought in the big guns for this one because the we knew. best attorney for divorce and family matters, James Sexton in the house. <laughs> Yeah, He's gentlemen, gentlemen, from New York. Yes. Gentlemen, it's all it's all fun and games until the lawyer shows up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, obviously, we ain't messing around on this one because, um, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's serious. It, you know, obviously, we were making some jokes on uh, uh, last week or whatever about it. But no, man, I mean, y this is some very, pretty serious stuff. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is, um, you know, this is as serious as serious gets. Um, I appreciate you, uh, you guys uh, having me on. Uh, I've, I've been talking to both of you for quite some time, and as soon as I can get myself out of a courtroom into Miami, I'm excited to spend some time with you. But uh, Please do. yeah, when I spoke to, uh, to 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 Walter earlier today, I said, "All right, well, you know what? I think I got to jump on and be the one to say a few things because I know he is dying to say a whole bunch of things, <gasps> and a lot of those things he got to discuss with me want that to. are subject to attorney-client privilege. But uh, to then share them with the world right now." Uh, is a challenging kind of a thing and would be absolutely against my advice. Sorry to spoil the party to everyone who wanted to hear all the salacious details at this moment. However, there are some things that need to be said, and, and I'm happy to say them. Um, what I'll say, first of all, is, I, I, you know what? I have good news and I have bad news. You've had a hell of a week, so I'm going to let you pick what you want first. You want the good news first? You want the bad news first? Uh, man, it's been tough, bro. Yo, just give me good news, bro. Here's the good news, man. <laughs> good news? Point. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Here's the good news. <laughs> There's a lot of question as to when a man can truly say he's successful. You know, hmm. I, I represent, I have a client who's worth $8 billion. I represent professional athletes, celebrities, primarily because I'm based in New York City. I represent a lot of people in finance, hedge fund people, crypto people. And there's always a question about when are you really successful? Is it your first 10 million when you become an eight figure kind of guy? Is it the first time you buy a Lambo and you pay cash for it? Is it the first time you fly private? Is it the first time you buy a jet? Is it the, you know, when is it? And what I will say as someone who's been practicing family law for 25 years is a man is really not truly successful until the 304s come out of the woodwork and say, <laughs> I have your baby, I'm pregnant with your baby, I need to talk to you about the baby, what are we gonna do about the baby? Mm -hmm. And surprisingly, instead of having that conversation like a civilized human being with a working prefrontal cortex, <laughs> most of the time what they choose to do is to post it on social media because that's absolutely what a, a good future mom potentially or rational human being who's not just looking to shake someone down for money would do, you'd go right to social media. It certainly isn't the kind of thing a clout chasing no one would do. So ultimately, I wanna congratulate you. That's the good news, is that you have officially arrived, my friend, and you are sitting among some of the greatest, most celebrated, wealthiest people in the world, many of whom I have represented, but you never heard anything really about it other than the little momentary blip that it came up, if at all, because they did what is now unfortunately going to be the bad news. And that is there are two words, my friend, that are not in your vocabulary currently, and they haven't been for years, and it's the reason why you're successful, but you need to repeat those two words after me, so let's practice together right now. Ready? No. No. Comment. Oh, comment, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. No. Comment. Comment, all right, all right. Okay, so you've gotta learn to say that, Wait. and it's really unfortunate because I, I know I know you are dying to talk about many of the things, many of the counter narrative, the facts, as opposed to the fictions, the way that, that things are weaponized and weaponized inappropriately, the massive holes in stories that, that there's a lot to be discussed, but revenge is a dish best served cold. Wait, I, I and can't, right now, I can't, right now, okay. there are civil and criminal penalties for the kinds of behaviors that we're looking at right now. So I want you as your counsel, and again, you're free to ignore my advice. Plenty of times people ignore my advice, and sometimes I'm grateful when they do it because it creates a lot more chaos, which makes me a lot more money. Uh, you know, peace does not make me any money. 
chaos makes me money. But I'm telling you, my advice to you, and I've said this to you earlier privately, is there has to be, for the moment, no specific comment. There really has to be, because the the the, the level of of issues that are being caused right now by a third party in terms of, of what they are exposing themselves to. There's an old saying, never interrupt the enemy when they're in the process of committing suicide. Mm. And this is a situation where you you are, as much as I, I know, you are dying to get the counter narrative and the facts out there, the reality out there, as opposed to the garbage that's out there right now. Yeah. Uh, an intelligent, strategic, successful man knows that irrationality, impulsivity, and emotionalism are luxuries reserved for the ladies. They are not for an intelligent, strategic, thoughtful man who is making tactical moves on the advice of counsel. So that is my little rant. That is my little caveat. And I'm glad you gave me the chance to say. I got to say one thing, though. Yeah. Uh, first and foremost, we do have the phone call. We do have the phone call. But I will say this. I personally should not have nutted within a 304 like this. Now, granted, things happen, whether true or not, but like you said, uh, James, I'll keep my mouth shut because I have some info here I want to share with, with the chat. Uh, well, you I know, this, out, but... this, this record, I have to tell you, the, the recording we are discussing and, and, and in all of these situations when there is a recording of this kind, which there always is, yeah. because... Why would you be recording the conversation unless you plan to use that to stick somebody up? Yeah. You know, normal, rational human beings who are acting in good faith don't record their conversations, you know, especially, too, when they're being mindful of the fact that there's a difference between a one-party state and a two-party state when it comes to consent for recordings, and that, again, it's a felony in the state of Florida to record a conversation without the consent of the other party. And if you then publish it, that's a separate felony. So that's two felonies for the price of one. But again, the reality here is, if you want to play the recording, go ahead. People have heard it. People have listened to it. You know what? Congratulations. You're important enough of a person that people actually pay attention when someone's talking about you. And, and that is in and of itself an accomplishment. There are a whole lot of guys right now who a girl is calling them and saying, you know, I'm having a baby and it's definitely yours. And nobody cares. No, no one would care. No one's interested. Everyone's just looking at it going, okay, whatever. It happens. The reality is in your situation, everybody's very interested in this everybody wants to talk about it but again the the reality for you is there are civil and criminal remedies for the kinds of things that are happening here yeah and and they're not to be leveled at you so if we want to listen to that recording you want to play that recording for anybody who's been under a rock and didn't get to hear it fine the only context i would give before playing it is listen to it is that a normal conversation? Is this a conversation of a woman who, who, who is having a sincere conversation with a human being? Or is this someone who knows that they're recording this? And when you know you're the one who's recording the conversation and that you can change it, modify it, splice it, edit it, you don't hear what was on the call before, you don't hear what was on the call after. And to be candid, guys, you know, I, I don't know if anybody realizes we're living in 2024. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've been in a courtroom where there is audio that we've had to have digital forensic experts come in, spend $30,000 to show that it was modified audio. You know, you can go right now, there's any number of products available right now from OpenAI, ChatGPT, all the various companies that are doing this type of work, where you can take small snippets snippets of someone's audio and you can have this person saying five or ten sentences and then you can literally dub anything that's to be said and I have to tell you you may not know it guys there's a lot of recordings of you talking out there I could put together almost if you said almost any word in the English language I could find an example of you saying it so again I, I think it's very very important if you're going to listen to this or any recording of some poor innocent young woman who's calling some fellow and just happens to be recording it and just happens to be making sure that when she's having that conversation she seems like something of a victim in the situation wow. and keeps steering the situation in directions that would make for good you know good uh, uh internet publication <laughs> um 
you know, when you listen to it, listen to it with that ear. See if it sounds a little bit different. <laughs> Let's play it just yeah. for the audience to kind of, because sure. uh, this is, it's kind of actually crazy when you uh, listen to it. Um, and it's, it's amazing that like people don't have the critical thinking skills to not see that clearly this was like intentional. And it's funny because she made, she made this phone call and then literally within minutes it's up on Instagram. Like, oh, and I, I have to tell you, like, I, I was like, what I, the hell? I could have dubbed this call because as I'm listening, I'm going, oh, yeah, it's this one. Like, I, I, I have listened now to 50 of these yeah. for, from professional athletes, you know, influencers, uh, hedge fund guys, uh, top name surgeons in the city at, at top hospitals. I mean, it really is successful men have a target on their back. And this is one of the most classic old school shakedowns. This is one of those ones that, again, I, I could do the phone call. Like I could have told you, I listened to it and I was like, oh yeah, it's that. It's like, like, it's like she went in and picked like menu option A, you know, <laughs> and that's the call. It's like, I, I could, if, if it wasn't breaking attorney client privilege, I got about a half a dozen celebrities that you've probably seen in films and TV that I'd put you in touch with. And they'd go, oh yeah, I got that call. I remember that call. Her name was Janet. It, you know, oh, I remember that call. That was Kiki. You know, and and that's how it is. And by the way, you guys live in the city where those calls always come from. I don't know what it is about Miami. Maybe that's why I haven't come on. I'm afraid I'm going to show up in Miami and suddenly I'll get out of the airplane and someone will claim they're pregnant with my child. Like I'm afraid that will happen instantly when I get off of a plane at MIA Airport. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, sorry. Play yeah, it. No, no worries. It. We'll we'll yeah. run it real quick and then I know Fresh can't talk as much, but I I'll, I'll give a little bit of my commentary because. I've, I've, I haven't said anything about this shit either, and um, and I, and, I, and obviously, uh, let's just play the call real fast. Yeah, let's just play it. Go for it. Um, obviously, I know that there's legal uh, proceedings I, going on. Oh, go yeah. ahead, go ahead, uh, Bills. My bad. I want the baby because I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No, no, I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from the doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretend like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. You're not killing it. Pause. Come pause. Okay. I, I, I don't know if you guys noticed, but she's using extreme language and she's calling, saying, I don't want to do this, etc. And she's fishing for a response, right? It's very obvious. And And the thing, too, is that, like, I mean, I know this. Like, there was an agreement that they weren't going to ever have kids. Like, wh but why is she calling now saying, oh, I I'm pregnant? It's so funny because how she's talking, I'm, like, shocked because I'm, like, normally you don't talk like this. Yeah. It's, it's more like it's, like, you're it's following a script. Yeah. Almost. But it, I'm, like. And it's good on your part because you didn't really say too much. Nah. But, but I, it's. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, like, wait, what's going on here? Yeah. So. Again, there was an agreement that they weren't going to, like, have kids or anything like that. And then now she's coming in saying, like, oh, I'm pregnant and I don't want to kill the baby and all this other stuff. And it's like, what the hell? Like, what's she bought in religion. Yeah. I'm like, what are you doing right now? She's not religious, guys. I'll tell you all that. Yeah. All right. Let's let's continue on. I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want any kids. Pause. Now. Very obvious fishing for a or a response like, uh, what the hell are you doing? Uh, no, uh, no, you better not, blah, blah, blah. Like, she was trying to fish for an emotional reaction to make you look crazy there. Yeah, 100%. All right, we can keep And this is a pretty classic tactic, guys, because the reality is that, I, again, I've done this in a courtroom so many times. I've played these kinds of recordings. I can't tell you how many times I've heard the, what are you doing? No, don't hit me. Oh, my God. What, oh, wow. what is that knife? Why do you have that knife? And meanwhile, my client's like, I was on the other side of the room. <laughs> and I I had not, I had a banana in my hand that I was eating, you know. And she, oh, my God. What is that That gun you're holding? You know, so so the, 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 the sound I have heard many times the sound I just heard, and that is the sound of a man who almost sounds like he's got PTSD. But he's like, wait, what are we talking about? What is going on? Like, who am I talking to right now? This sounds insane. Who speaks this way? Who pauses in that way as if for, okay, now let's let you talk. Let's get some dramatic effect going. Like, this is not a conversation between two adults who are talking about something not for performance purposes, one-sided performance purposes, but because they actually want to have a dialogue. And again, ask yourselves, 
what kind of person, if you were dealing with something truthful and this serious, does this, records it, and immediately publishes it on the internet? and then continues to follow it up with more internet postings. What kind of human being, is a serious human being do that? Does a person who has any self-respect or respect for other people do that? Does someone who actually want to have a kid do that? No. Like, like that, that's the other thing too for no. all you Simpsons in the fucking chat right now. <laughs> Abortion. Bro, do you think someone who's actually really pregnant with a child would do this shit? Like, well, well, I'll tell sense. you, too, is a classic, fucking classic sense, tactic on this. Classic tactic on this. Like, is, yo, some fucking Simpson it becomes, it becomes the, um, I'm going to need some money for the for the to terminate pregnancy. I'm also going to need some money to recover after that because it was very traumatic for me. Or if that shakedown doesn't work, it turns in a couple of months, <gasps> I lost the baby. My goodness, I lost the baby. It's so, and by the way, now I'm very upset that I lost the baby. And obviously I'm not gonna return the money for the stroller and for the car and for all the down payment on the condo that I said that I needed because I was going to have your child. But yes, I lost the baby. And if you say, well, are you sure you were pregnant? Are you, a, well, how dare you ask that? Look, I have a, a, a something from Planned Parenthood that I've posted on my social media that, you know, there's no way to edit a PDF, guys. Don't you know that? Don't you know there's no way to take a generic piece of paper from Planned Parenthood that anybody could get for $10 and, and change it to say whatever it is you wanted to say? And then in a few months, just turn around and say, oh, I lost the baby. It's such a tragedy. And again, if you defend yourself, if you say anything in the court of public opinion, you're, you lose no matter what, which is why, again, you know, revenge is a dish best served cold. There are criminal and civil penalties for this kind of behavior. Wait, uh, I can't respond, right? Damn. I want to say something nope, so bad. You cannot respond. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm directing you not to respond. I know you want to. They can kill me in the chat if they want to. Grow up, go to law school, and then you can tell your clients whatever the hell you want to tell them. But I am telling you, this is not the time to make this comment. Because I know there's a lot of additional information you have, because I know that information. But I'm telling you, now is not the time. Yeah. Let, 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 let somebody just keep digging the hole. Let them just keep digging the hole. Because that's the time you unleash the information. Mm. Uh, play, the, play the thing. Uh, we'll, we'll, Please, keep yeah, going. It's a few more, this it's, it's a few more seconds. Performance. Yeah, it's a few more seconds. And it's crazy to me how people are, um, you know, immediately saying like oh she's pregnant uh yo you're in encouraging an abortion etc bro we don't know if it's even true like you know they say hell hath no fury like a woman scorn like bro this at the end of the day let me just fucking say this she's mad because fresh didn't want to get her a fucking apartment in miami ta-da there you guys fucking go all right she's mad because fresh didn't want to fucking get her an apartment in miami and he didn't want to be with her no more that's why she's doing all this shit all right she did a pregnancy test before in fucking Barbados and it came back negative. Sorry, I had to fucking say this shit. It's fucking annoying me. These fucking ass clowns in the chat talk, saying all this bullshit, whatever. There's a high likelihood it's not true and she's doing this shit because she knows that she's done. She knows that he don't want to be with her no more. So she's like, let me take the fucking building down with me. Let me burn this bitch down and make him look terrible. Let me record this fucking phone call pre and premeditated call it. Make him get a reaction so I could put this shit on the internet, put it on Instagram stories immediately after, right? And this is what I mean when I say you ass clowns don't know what the fuck is going on in the fucking chat talking about the shit. Bro, it's an abortion. Bro, it's so bad. He killed a baby. Nigga, there probably isn't a baby there. That's what I'm trying to tell you, motherfuckers. It happened to me. What is it? You guys remember three years ago, some fucking chick, three weeks later, oh, I'm pregnant. It was a fucking lie. She used that shit to do a media run, went everywhere, did interviews all over the place, ran her OnlyFans up. Did you guys forget about that? Did you guys forget about that? That shit happened to me too. And it's happening again in fucking gentlemen, sense. Gentlemen, I can tell you, it is the big, you are in a huge fraternity. I, I'm not kidding when I say that this is the sign of success. I, I, I cannot, because of attorney-client privilege, tell you how many men in a 25-year career I have seen this exact story play out with. Much of the time, there was no pregnancy. Much of the time, there was a pregnancy that mysteriously miscarries a short time later, usually after the check clears or the wire transfer is completed. Um, sometimes there is, in fact, a pregnancy. But many of the times, once that pregnancy comes to completion, wouldn't you know, 
the DNA test reveals that the individual who was alleged to be the father of this child, usually the one with a seven or eight figure bank account, um, turns out to not be it. And the scumbag boyfriend who they had on the side, um, who, you know, uh, uh, makes minimum wage, he was the one who happens to have all the genetic markers tied to this child. So, you know, there's a whole lot of ways this story ends at the majority of the time. And again, now is not the, we're not doing a post-mortem on this situation yet, because it's not done yet. But I, I, I will tell you with a very high degree of confidence, knowing a lot more about this situation than, than anyone in this situation other than the gentleman himself, that there is a lot more happening here and a lot more information that if you were a reckless individual and, and ignoring my advice as counsel, you would unleash immediately both barrels. But I, I appreciate that you are at least following some of my advice. The fact that we're talking about this at all means you're not completely following my advice. The reality is if you don't talk, you walk, and that talking is about this stuff just gives it oxygen. I mean, you're just giving this individual's 15 minutes, another 15 minutes. I understand why you're doing it. I understand that it's important to want to protect yourself. And I understand that your 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 partner here is uh, is is uh, less restrained and certainly uh, wants to protect you, which I respect the bonds of brotherhood in that way. But you know, let let if you want to finish listening to the last few seconds of this Oscar worthy performance. Yeah. Um. I I think we certainly can can do that. Yeah. Uh. Go ahead, Bells. You got it. Okay. So what you gonna do? And what you gonna do to me? What you gonna do to me? Okay. Well, why did I do anything to you? Nothing. Well, why did I do anything to you? No, I know. So, like, how are you going to deal with this? By by saying I don't want a baby? That's all? I mean... I to, the, to the doctor, I guess. To the doctor? So you want abortion? I mean, yeah. Why do you want a kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? Because I'm like, there's no way that that's true. But then I said, oh, wow. Like, so just think about it. It's mean to be. Can I say why that might not be true? Or no, I can't. No, not right now. All right. Yeah. God, right? Wants, God wants you to have the baby. Now God's involved. Definitely not. It is. God wants you to have a baby. Seven years never happened. Pause real and quick. And then you're relating. Pause real quick. A lot of you fucking guys in the chat, I don't know what you guys forgot or whatever. Some of you guys like think we're trad cons over here or we're super religious. We said it a million times. I'm not a practicing Muslim. Fresh isn't a practicing Christian. Correct. We run a fucking dating podcast for all you ass clowns and teach you guys how to get laid. So what the fuck makes you guys think that we're sitting here and we're being traditionally conservative and all religious and shit? We've never been religious. We brought guests on that are religious that talk about religion and etc. But we're not because we bring guests on that have different viewpoints than us and we're okay with that. We don't have an echo chamber over here. But we've told you guys a million times, we're not fucking religious. So don't sit there and try to hold us to some standard like, oh, abortion's against the rule, all this other bullshit. Bro, Number one, this chick ain't pregnant. It's a fucking cap, in my opinion. I think it's a fucking lie, right? Because I've been, I've bitches have done this shit to me. I've, it's happened. That's number one. Number two, we are not religious, okay, guys? We said this a million times. So you guys try to sit there, fresh. You can't, you can't even be a man of God. You're a man of Christ. Blah blah. Fresh has said many times, I'm a man of God, and he's just kidding around. Y'all know that we deal with fucking chicks. We teach y'all how to get them. Yeah. Like, we give you a set. We're not advice. trad cons over here. Yeah. And gentlemen, uh, the real the reality here is. Everyone who is listening to this, particularly any man who is listening to this, and I know the majority of your audience is male, um, anyone who is listening to this, you should, this should put a chill down your spine. You are not safe. You're only safe if you're unsuccessful. So feel free to be unsuccessful. You'll never have this problem. But I guarantee you that if you are a successful man at some point, these kinds of allegations get made. I've had these allegations made against people who go, I've never even been in the same state as this woman. I've never been in a room with her. Or every time I've been in a room with her, there were other people there. Uh, this happens to married men. This happens to Muslims, Christians, Jews. This happens to pretty much everybody. And I will tell you again, listen to this recording. If you've taken the time to listen to the recording, 
listen to the recording. If, if, if this, I have to say, if she has any aspirations to ever becoming a narcotics officer in the police department, <laughs> she should consider another alternative. Because her doing a controlled buy would be like, so I am going to be purchasing cocaine now from you. How would you feel about my purchase of that cocaine? Will you sell that to me now, the cocaine? And then the, the buyer, uh, what, I'm sorry, what did you want to sell? The cocaine that I wish to purchase that you are going to sell to me. I will have that cocaine now. Like, look, the reality is, is this is not how someone speaks when they're having an actual conversation. This is, if, if you said to me that her voice was AI, I would say, you know what, AI is way better than that. Like, this is shitty AI. Because what this is, is someone who really has no future as an actress. Because this, this is so unbelievably a setup. This is a professional hit. And why, why, if you, are, if, you, if you can't see that, you're blind. And if you see that, and then give credit to anything that this person is saying, then, then shame on you. And, and certainly don't claim to be, oh, I'm a man of God, or I'm not, whatever. Because look, the reality here is, there, there's truth and there's, there's fiction. And, and, and the reality of this recording is this is not a good faith conversation in any capacity. This is a setup. This is a hit. And when someone does a setup, a hit, and immediately unleashes that to the public for the purposes of clout chasing yeah. or a shakedown financially, anything else that comes out of that person's mouth, the Bush doctrine applies. We do not negotiate with terrorists. We don't do that. That's <laughs> not what we do. Yeah, and to be honest with you, even as us having this stream, I didn't even want to do. It. I wanted to do an IRL stream and like get back to it, get back to it. But people were just bombarding us with this, so it's like, all right, we'll address it for you guys. But it amazes me that you guys are so quick to believe some fucking bimbo that gets on the internet that clearly did this, set it up, premeditated, went to Instagram immediately after illegally recording a phone call, and you guys are so quick to say, "Wow, Fish, you're such a bad guy," blah blah blah, bro. This chick is lying. It like, I mean, this again, this is my take. I mean, I, I'm not privy to the conversations that Fresh had with his counsel, but I'm telling you as an outsider looking at it, I'm like, bro, this is a fucking lie. Because a girl did this to me literally three years ago. And what did she do with it? She did it to run up her OnlyFans. She did it to run up her social media. She did it to make money. Girls do this shit. And the fact that you guys sit here and say, well, we're red pill aware. With these, we know what's going on, etc. And you guys believe this shit. Hook, line, and sinker, you fucking simps. And it's for all you idiots out there that are saying, Marin, hold him accountable. Man, you know what? I already told, held him accountable behind the scenes. I told him he was a fucking dumbass. I told him he's a fucking retard. I told him why the fuck are you doing this shit, and I fucking yelled at him about this shit. I don't need to fucking yell in front of you fucking pieces of shit. Fuck y'all. You guys don't have to be privy to our personal conversations. Why shit on him for being a dumbass? I already had that fucking conversation. I want to do it again on the air for your fucking appeasement in front of you fucking dickheads, okay? Because the reality is a lot of you guys that are criticizing Fresh are not doing better than him. A lot of you motherfuckers are fat fucking losers that live with your fucking mom trying to sit here and counsel him. Ooh, what did you do? So that He made a fucking mistake. He's a dumbass for it. And we all fucking know that shit, okay? I don't have to fucking shit on him in front of 40,000 people for you guys to know that I fucking shit on him behind the scenes. We had a very long conversation about this shit already, okay? I don't have to you know, fucking sit I, here and shit on my friends on, in front of you guys. When I first came on uh, before we started recording and I spoke with the two of you briefly, I, I said to both of you that I think that the less that's said about this, the better from a legal perspective. I, I, there's a script that I often give to clients, which is I have no specific recollection of any wrongdoing, although I acknowledge mistakes may have been made. I'd like to move forward past this unfortunate incident. You should write that shit down. Um, you know, I will tell you, there's a reason why you, you guys are excellent communicators. You have a great point of view. It's why I was a fan before I was your counsel. More my but uh, I got to tell, tell you, man, you're killing me right now. You're <laughs> killing me with what you're saying right now. Because again, I'm sorry, man. Yeah. From an entertainment and a reality perspective, I love it. Preach, my friends. But but now is not the time to unleash the crack in here. We've yeah, got, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. We've got I'm a done. lot of there is a lot being said right now, and I appreciate Walter that you are taking my advice and you are not saying it. But we are we are going down roads that we do not need to go down right now there will be time as i've said now four or five times in this conversation revenge is a dish best served cold there are there are consequences for behavior 
and it is not consequences against you I am talking about. There are consequences for the kinds of behaviors for this kind of a professional attempt at a hit. Because I have to tell you, if you're going to strike at the king, you better kill the king. Because if you don't, he's still got a bigger platform than you. So it, it, this, this is one of those things that, again, just I'm going to say it one more time. You can listen or you can ignore it. There has to, there has, now is not the time for all of this information to be put out there. Yeah, no, my bad. I just, uh, no, you no, know. not your bad. I appreciate it, but there, there is a time. There will be a time. Now is not that time. I am advising you again, very emphatically, that now is not the time to share the many things you have to say, the many screenshots, the many, all of the media information, all the things that I'm able to view that. You know, I, I because of the benefit of attorney-client privilege. No, of but course. But I'm, I'm telling you, now is not the time. I, I'll just say this: we're pursuing every legal course right now, both criminal and civil, against this fucking girl. Okay, just so y'all know, like we're gonna make sure that she deals with the consequences of her actions. All right, what she did was a was a fucking felony in the state of Florida. I didn't realize that there's another count for putting it out there. Um, so that, that's, that's actually good on our end. So, and, and here's the other thing too. She's a foreign national from fucking China committing crimes in the United States. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Mo, I'm going to fucking swear. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. So my thing is she is absolutely going to deal with the consequences of these fucking actions, man, because you want to come at fresh like this. You want to do this shit for all you ass clowns out there. Oh, bro, leave fresh, blah, blah. I'm not fucking going anywhere. All right. We started this together. We fucking die together. If you guys don't like it, go suck a fucking dick because I'm not going nowhere. It is what it is. I stand by him 100%. We have our, had our conversations behind the scenes. You guys can say whatever the fuck you guys want to say, but loyalty is a real thing. I don't believe in the term loyalty to a fault because the whole reality of being loyal is you're loyal regardless of whether it's faulty or not. That's what loyalty is, you fucking ass clowns. But it's, it's, I guess the, this thing doesn't exist anymore. But that's all I'm going to say is that we're pursuing every avenue to fucking... Go after this chick for the fucking baseless and false allegations she made, man. I will say one thing. Um, when Mar had his scenario, oh, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> I'm done. Okay, 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 I'm done. No, no, but uh, he's just been a good, good friend because uh, when people talk shit about your friend, you should defend them, especially when you, when you know the truth. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks, James. I'm gonna shut up now. No, listen, I have to tell you, you, you know, the bond of you guys' friendship is 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 an amazing thing. Um, I, and I have to tell you, and I, I'm not giving anything away of attorney client privilege when I say it. Um, you know, you, I've dealt with, I've dealt with some really uh, incredibly successful people when they're in this situation. And, uh, and you can tell when someone's panicked and you can tell when someone is genuinely trying to figure out what the hell's going on and how the hell to handle it and acting in good faith and ev from every possible metric you know you you've been acting in good faith on this and and trying to to get a handle on what is the right thing and what is actually going on what is truth what is fiction what is conversation and what is performance um what is fake and what is real um and that's a hard thing to do you know it is it is anytime intimacy is weaponized and i've been a divorce lawyer a long time so i know a thing or two about how people weaponize intimacy um it's disgusting it's disgusting because when we share with, uh, with another human being, we share with a woman, you know, parts of ourselves, you know, honest parts of ourselves, and we make ourselves even the slightest bit vulnerable. And then we have to spend the rest of the time pulling the knife out of our back. Um, that's, that's the kind of thing that makes a person jaded. And what I will tell you is, so far in my conversations with you, you haven't lost your sense of humor. You haven't lost your, your bonds of friendship. You haven't lost your loyalty and you haven't lost your integrity. Um, and that, that's a whole lot more than I can say for the other end of that phone call. So uh, I, I think you, you should be proud of, of the way you're handling yourself in this situation. Um, and I think that, again, as the details of this thing become a little more public and something that can be discussed in more depth after civil, criminal, and other remedies are, are, are fully uh, uh, allowed to move through the system, um, I, I think people are going to – there's going to be quite a few people that owe you an apology. So. All right. Uh, I think 
I mean, is there anything else? I mean, Gentlemen, I have to go. No, this no, no, is no. We'll let you go, man. You're killing yeah. me. No, no, no. We'll let okay. you go. We'll, uh, <laughs> Thanks, James. Appreciate yeah, it, bro. Thank you for, for coming on, man. Great uh, to see you. I have to say, my first time appearing was not going to be this. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. Fate has a way of doing things. And, you know, I just heard someone say that God planned this sort of thing. So I'm going to go with that. <laughs> I'm going to go with that God did this so that you'd finally get me on the show. But I got to tell you guys, you really went to a hell of a length to get me on the show. I mean, this is it impressive you it know all i really you yeah. man, you know making this whole thing up it's incredible it's really amazing <laughs> I, I, i'm flattered i have to tell you we're looking forward also, to in person myron i i wanted you to know i'm pregnant and i'm pretty sure it's yours so i'm <laughs> sorry you. I, that, I didn't that, know hey, everyone says i'm gay anyway right so <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh man this is crazy thank you james yeah james Gentlemen, thanks for coming on man good you're to see you i'll speak to you very on. soon and guys this is james sexton yeah 31k watching go support him as well go check him out guys me at nyc divorce lawyer see you soon all right man Later. Peace. Take care, gentlemen. Bye-bye. Um, yeah, we brought one of the best in the business for y'all, man. Yeah. Uh, James Sexton. Um, so, look, guys, I know that's not what you might want to hear. Obviously, um, you know, th this is, like, for real. This is very for real. Um, and we're, we're definitely going through, I mean, Fresh has been dealing with all this with, on the phone with lawyers and shit like that. He was at the police department, like, yeah. Yesterday. Uh, man. <sighs> James is gone, right? Yeah. I can't say anything. Bro, I mean, because I got so much to share, bro.